What is going on everyone, Jordan Anderson here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact steps you need to create a demo video for your SaaS that's going to convert your viewers into customers. Demo videos are crucial for two reasons. First, they're the best way to showcase your product's value quickly. And second, they're an incredible tool for qualifying your leads without spending hours on individual demos. If you can create a demo video that clearly articulates your product's benefits and features, you're essentially pre-selling your software 24 seven without any additional effort. This means you can focus on developing your product and closing deals instead of constantly explaining your software from scratch. Every SaaS startup should have a demo video somewhere on their site. I'll show you the five mistakes to avoid when creating demo videos, what to do instead, and exactly how to structure your demo videos for the most customer impact and converting the most customers possible. And by the end, you'll have a clear roadmap on how to create your demo videos that not only showcase your software, but drive conversions. Let's get into it. My name is Jordan Peterson from Nice Life Studio. Let's dive over into our board. Let's start here, kind of, what is a demo video? Because I think uh, when we say software SaaS demo video, people tend to have a couple different versions in their head. So what is a demo video? A demo video, maybe we'll start with like, it is not a VSL, a video sales letter. Um, a video sales letter is something I say like, is a five to 10 minute video that is speaking directly to you, selling you hardcore. And by the end of the video, there's a clear offer. Um, it is not, I would say it's not your hero video or your, uh, I wouldn't even put it in a product hunt video. So we should probably like, let's, let's grab our little X here. It is not, not a VSL, not a hero video, not a product hunt video, uh, not even a, you know, whatever you want to call it, like, Hype trailer splash video. I'm like staying out of my, putting my camera out of the way. It's none of those things. Like a demo video is a, it is showing, because what all these have in common is hardcore selling, some sort of cinematic elements a lot of times, music, um, things that drive emotion, things that really like they are manipulative, they're marketing, it's hardcore sales, it's, there is a call to action where they want you to buy on the spot or you watch the video and the next step is to clearly buy. Um, and a demo video has elements of that, but it's more straightforward. It's more, here's what the software looks like. It's more just some personal FaceTime one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you are essentially sitting with the founder or whoever's hosting the video. They're building, you're building trust together um, and you're, they're watching how the software, like show me how it looks. Show me what the dashboard looks like. Show me how this actually, the software works. Yes, I watched the VSL. Yes, I watched the hype trailer. I watched the product hunt video. It got me excited. It looked like it can solve my problem because a lot of those videos talk about the problem and solution. But a demo video is like, hey, just how does it work? It, that's what it straight up is. So let's go, let's start first with like demo video mistakes. A lot of times, and these are in no particular order. Um, the first one I see a lot of times with bad demo videos is no ending sales pitch. Now you are going to sit with someone in a video for 10 to 20 minutes long, showing them exactly how the software works. Like if they were not interested in your software, they'd stop watching the video or they wouldn't be here at all. So they, it's clear that they want to use your software. They're interested. They are a lead in some form or fashion. Um, so to, get them all the way to the very end of the video and not to do some sort of sales pitch. A lot of people think just like, I'll just show the software and that'll be done. It, you're wasting that real estate and you're wasting that attention. People have, if I'm sitting here for 18 minutes, watching a two minute sales pitch at the end of my uh, the demo video, it's not that big of an ask. Like I've already committed the time. I'm here, I'm invested, I'm watching you, I've built trust with you. Let me just watch the sales pitch. Feature overload. It is... We go to this, I'm talking about these five mistakes all the time, the five deadly mistakes when launching, you know, number one, not using video, can't narrow down your features, can't articulate the problem, acting like a Fortune 500, the founders themselves. We run into this problem number two, mistake number two, where you can't narrow down your features. You, you're the founder a lot of times, and you are building the features, you're in the app, you're developing them, you have an emotional attachment to every little feature that you've built for your app. And it feels good. So you want to show everything off. And in your demo video, you think this is like the time to do it. Like we're going to sit here for an hour 
and go through the entire app. We're going to show you how everything works. And you end up overloading your customer. You end up over just like they can't process that much information. So we tend to like say, hey, like trim it down, choose two to three major features and use cases and move on. Ignoring customer pains. A demo video is not just showing off the features. It's not just like it's, hey, here's how it works. You also need to either in the beginning of the video, throughout the video, talk about you can, to just talk about a feature itself in empty space has no context and has no impact on your customer. If you tie it in, though, to an emotional problem, a customer problem, financial problem that your customers are facing and say, like, a lot our customers were running into this problem a lot of time. So here's so instead, here's what we did. You can do you can do feature one, two, three. You all when you use feature one, this is how it works and how it solves problem number one. And like you connect those problems, you connect the feature and problem, you give it some context as opposed to just saying a cold, stale demo video that just shows the feature and just like, here's how it works. That's that is a help article. That's a help video. A demo video is still needs to have a little bit of selling to it, but it's not a sales video. Uh, number four, I guess, is over 20 minutes long. Again, if it's too many, features overloaded um it is gonna run long it's gonna run i've seen demo videos that are 46 minutes long and it's like i again a customer does not have that much attention and everything you talked about in minute five they have forgotten about it in, by minute 10 so you have to kind of rehearse review preview overview constantly remind them of what they've just watched so and with that kind of attention span too i say like cap it at 20 minutes you can always make another demo video down the road, or if you have a specific feature that you want to just focus on, then make a video for that. Make a three to five minute feature demo walkthrough of just that feature so that people like they can select to say, hey, I'm opting in to watch this specific feature. I want to know how it works, as opposed to saying like, hey, everyone, buckle up because this is a 90 minute webinar a demo video where I'm going to show you everything that you want to know about how this app works. No, people don't want that. And then too easy, too hard. A demo video is still, it's, it flirts in between that VSL video sales letter and it flirts, in, you know, between the help article, help video. So you're teaching people how the software works. You're showing them how it works. You're kind of, you're in the driver's seat. Um, on the too easy side is where you just kind of fly through it and not really explain what you're doing. And it, you're going 70 to 80 miles an hour through the entire demo, trying to just brush through everything, uh, glazing over a lot of stuff. And people don't find it that helpful. People that are there, like, again, the video sales letter, the hype video, that's when people have the short attention span. They, like, show me the hot, sexy features that are cinematic looking and, and amazing. And so but for the demo video, we can slow down a little bit. We can settle in. Teach me a little bit what you're doing. Show me how you did that. Show me the reasoning behind this app and this feature. Uh, and then on the flip side is too hard. Like you're getting too granular. You're really focusing on the stuff. You are uh, kind of getting lost in the weeds a little bit with some of these examples, or you're showing a very f way off use case, minor, 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 2% use case. Um, you need to focus on the majority of things that happen you know, the majority cases like, hey, this is the 80-20. This is what most customers are going to do when they use our app. So let's talk about what to do instead. Some things to really focus on is what I call the above the fold promise. So, you know, you, the, the fold, like when you're building your website above the fold, all the information in the hero section is above the fold. I think of that same thing in a video. The fold is the first 20 to 60 seconds of the video. That's when you have people's maximum attention. That's when you have 80 to 90 percent of their attention. And after that, it's just going to pew, let me make sure I'm in the video. It's just going to go. Pew, it's going to I'll just go right here. If this is their attention span and it a great YouTube video looks like this. That's kind of a great YouTube video. That's a, that's the best you can hope for. So in this section right here, you this is you're above the fold. You want to make sure you are delivering as much information you're giving them. Um, the promise you're showing them, you're basically giving them like the table of contents of what they can expect in this video and what they can expect to get out of this video. Um, 
So focus on, so add in an above the fold promise. Don't just dive right into, hey, let me show you how this works. Always be closing, cliche to say, but I'll show you how to structure the demo video. But throughout, you since you are on your website, you are on your app, your, whatever your web app, you can have it in a, another tab like, hey, and if you have any questions or if you want to go, this is available every like every now and then just drop in little sprinkles of like, hey, go to our pricing page or hey, if you want to sign up or hey, if you are not a customer yet, all these little doesn't have to be a hardcore sales pitch. It's just these little tiny lines like, hey, if you're watching this video right now, we're about 10 minutes into it. You're on Nice Slice Studio. You can stop here. You can subscribe or you can go to our shop.nicelicestudio.com and get all our free training. And then let's get and then you kind of swing back into the demo. You can go, hey, if you have any questions, this feature is specifically available for on tier two. And let me show you if you want to get tier two, go to the pricing page. OK, let's get back to the demo. It's that kind of like subtleness. So you always need to be closing. And then at the very end, do that call to action. Clear audio. I read a lot of Reddit posts of like, hey, what makes a great demo video leading up to this? What's most people think? Most people are like, you got to have lighting, you got to have a camera, you got to have great audio, great editing software. The number one thing you need, it could be you can have no camera on, good, clear audio. Your MacBook will probably do uh, the heavy lifting. Go get Descript, go get some kind of audio processing uh, software to take your shitty audio and make it nice. Descript has great, has that studio sound button that you just hit studio sound and it makes all the echoes and the you know just makes everything nice and warm sounding clear audio they got to hear what you're saying when you're giving the presentation when you're going through the demo video if they can't understand you or if it's too annoying they're going to bounce uh use cases and examples just again it's adding that context to the feature just showing here's how it works give an example set it up when you set up the feature talk about an example, a customer that you ran into, the popular use case, um, like connect to the real world. Show show what it actually does. Give an example. Be specific. A lot of times it just be like, hey, you're you can connect, you know, you can connect your apps and do it all together with everything you want available worldwide. And it's just like very. Your customer's like, okay, but is this for me? How does this work? Can I use this? Is this specifically built for me? That's what your customer is always asking when they're watching this. Like, is this for me? Does this work for me? Can I do this? Uh, and then last, this kind of, oh, I'm like cutting it off a little bit. Preview, review, and overview. Throughout the demo video, you have to kind of like pause, take their temperature, Hey, you still with me here? Are we good? Okay, hey, next we're going to do this. Hey, what we just talked about was this. So, for example, be like, hey, we just covered what that covers everything. We just covered what to do in your demo video. Before that, we we went over demo video mistakes. We've talked about no ending sales pitch and their, their feature overload. We've talked about all these things. We've covered everything. We've talked about the five deadly mistakes. Next, we're going to talk about is how to structure your demo video. And then at the very end, I'll show you where to place this demo video to get the most customers and to convert the most customers possible. So with that, we're gonna wrap up what to do. See, like, like that, like you're you're giving them, you're, you're kind of taking, again, as you're taking their temperature, you're, get, you're setting expectations. It's a nice kind of way to like break the fourth wall a little bit. Hey, you, you know, you're kind of like checking in on them and you're, Giving, you're setting expectations. You're letting people know like, hey, this is, this is what's coming up next so that they're not just sitting there like, okay, how, long, how much longer this video is? I just, I'm waiting to see if my feature is coming up or the spe I have one specific question. Is that going to be addressed? You're telling them that. You're get, you're kind of, you started with the table of contents at the beginning of the video and then you're going to bring it back up and then you're going to end with the table of contents. You're going to end with that review. So now that we've talked about what to do in your demo video, you know, add that above the full promise. Always be closing, add in those little sales call to actions can be very subtle. Clear audio, you don't need a great camera, you don't need a great, uh, great lighting. Add use cases and examples to connect it to the real world, make, make your customer understand like, is this for me? Can I use this? And then finally do a preview, overview, and review throughout your demo video. Teach them, or so, it's always like, tell them what you're gonna teach them, teach them, tell them what you just taught them, and then, Start over. 
Tell them what you're going to teach them next. It's that over and over and over. Now let's go into the structure. How do I structure this demo video? What should I talk about first? What is most important? How do I keep people's attention? And how do I convert customers with my demo video? You're going to start, as you can guess, with the above the full promise. 20 to 60 seconds, you're looking right at the camera, you're talking to, you can read a script, you can read a teleprompter, you can put the wording on the screen as you read it out loud to the customers and show them the table of contents. Tell them everything that they're going to get out of this video. Tell them, uh, you can also narrow it down. Say like, if you're a founder, if you're a startup founder with less than 11 employees and making less than $1,000 MRR, then in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how we are going to do XYZ with this new app that I've just showed you. Something like that. Now you're listening and you're watching that and go, huh, I'm not a startup founder. I don't have a le less than 11 employees and I'm not making $1,000 MRR. This video is not for me, but who, if it is for them, then you, they're like locked in. They are ready to go. So add an above the full promise, set expectations, talk about the table of contents, tell them, zoom out, show them everything you're going to cover literally or figuratively and say, Hey, we're going to talk about this, we're gonna talk about this, this, and this, and then we're going to finish with this and let's get started. That's what you do. You, you go right into it. You always list with your most notable feature, your most coolest action, the most, uh, whatever the, you'd be like the most, the 80, 20 version of this most notable feature. Don't start small. Don't start at feature number three and build up to two and one start with feature. Number one, your biggest, baddest feature, and then go into two use cases when you're going through showing them how the feature works, how to do it, then do a use case. Make it do in a specific action. If it's like a checkout, do a test checkout. If you're building a blog, if you're writing a newsletter, if you're doing automation demos, show them in action and then do a very different use case that is still popular. Not don't do two obscure ones or like a very popular use case one in an obscure use case. Do like the two most popular, but try to make them different so that you're casting the widest net possible on use cases so that your customers aren't sort of like, is this going to work for me? Can, how is this going to work? And then you're going to do that over for features two and three. And I say do just two or three features, four features in total. So you'd be, it would show them how the feature works and then do two use cases. So it looks something like this, this, and then, you know, and then you do it again. You get it. And after you do that, that's, you've gone through three features now that you're about to hit the 20 minute mark. You're getting pretty close. Then you're going to review, talk about everything you just talked about, talked about the takeaways, what they can learn from this it, review. If you are this type of person living this type of life, doing this type of action in search of this type of solution, then this is the app for you. Just like spell it out for them and then do a very hyper specific call to action. When I say hyper specific call to action, Again, you're showing them your website. You're showing them your web app. Go and show them how to sign up. Like if you're already there, just like, okay, uh, let me show you how to sign up. So if you're watching this video right now, go to blank blank slash pricing. You're going to click tier two. You're going to click sign up, like do a test purchase for them in front of them, showing them everything that they're going to get. And let me show you, and this is how it works. And you're going to click, like go all the way to like customer empty dashboard in the call to action. Like you're going to do this. You're going to add your credit card. You're going to add your email, your name, and then it's going to ask you a couple questions and then that's it. And then it's going to take you to your dashboard and that's how you get started. And you'll go take a tour, like make them feel comfortable. Let them know what's, ex uh, what's on the other side of that door of checkout. And that is, uh, I mean, that's going to be super effective. Now I added this right here and we kind of already talked about it. The casual, CTA in between your use cases, I, I would kind of put it there. That's kind of a nice um, lull, a, a nice trough in the peaks and valleys of your demo video. As you're going from use case to use case, again, drop in that casual call to action. Hey, go to Nice Slice Studio, go to shop.nicesliceStudio.com and do this and get our download, our free training. It's like those kind of like very subtle things. Okay, let's wrap it up now. Let's go to, okay, now I've made the demo video. Jordan, where should I place this video to get 
the most customers in no particular order. And you can do it all here, all of these blue options, email number three or four. So if they've signed up for a free trial, if they have signed up for your newsletter, if they've signed up for a lead magnet, if they have signed up for anything in your email flows, add the demo video in email number three or four. Number one being whatever the delivery is. Number two being kind of like an overview of the problem. And number three or four as a way to like, hey, want to see how all this works? Click here, watch this video, parentheses, 20 minutes long, parentheses, 15 minutes long, like set the expectation and drop it there. Add a link, add a YouTube link. Uh, watch the demo button, duh. A lot of, if you're in B2B SaaS, you can just add it to on the other side of the demo button. So they click watch demo, they fill out a form, they fill out a contact form, and then they get shown the video and then they get added to a, you know, whatever your sales process is, if they get added to a Calendly appointment with a sales rep to talk about the demo video, um, do it right there, duh. On YouTube, great place to do it. People are, long form YouTube videos work amazing on YouTube. Uh, sit there for 15, 20 minutes, like that's where people are there, that's where the attention is. And then in the link down below, add your sign up button, add your sign up link. Help articles, um, not a conventional place to put your demo video, but it, a lot of times when people are shopping around for software, they'll go to the help center, they'll go to the help article, or maybe they start a free trial and put it in your getting started section of your help articles. So like whatever your top five, top 10 articles are on your help desk, put it there. So they say like, hey, watch how all this works. Or a full overview, full walkthrough, parentheses, 20 minutes on how this app works. And they're there, they're lurk, they are specifically there learning how to use your app. And this is at the very end, you're gonna have your little sales pitch. So that's a great place to add your demo video. And then of course, in the post launch, add it into the post launch. We don't put it in the launch uh, when you're doing a feature launch. And I'll, I'll show you what this launch is I'm talking about. This is the nice life studio launch uh, formula. If you want to get this, go to, uh, I'll link it down below. It's nicelifestudio.com slash training slash 500 K. And we talk about how to set up your launch, but here it's, you know, position your startup pre-launch your launch. That's where I would put your keynote video. And for the demo video, I would put it in the post launch. So two, three, four days after the big bang, after the big keynote video, where everyone is excited and signing up, it's a way to like, bring those last straggling customers in, get those last few customers, those last stubborn customers over the hill. Like they, they're excited, they understand the problem, they understand, they have a good sort of an understanding of what it does and they just need one more piece of content, one more video to just see exactly how it works. Like they, they know it's for them, but they just really just, okay, just show me what it looks like. And that's where I would put it in your post launch. Where not to put it, not in your hero section. You'll see a lot of people say like, put your demo video or hey, I have a three to five minute demo video from the founder. Hero video, your hero section, that is not the time or place for a long demo video for people to sit and walk, and you to walk through your app. It's a place like people are gonna scroll past. Your demo, your hero section is for your splash video, your trailer, your keynote, your VSL, a sales oriented video that is there to quickly capture attention, drive emotion and drive people to sign up. Your demo video is just going to be a little too slow pace and it's going to not do what you think it's going to do. It's like, okay, I'll put my 20 minute video there and people will, I'll increase retention on my website and people will hang out in the hero section of the video. No, they'll click play. It'll, they'll realize that it's 20 minutes long and they'll like st pause it, start scrolling, search around, go to your pricing page. They won't sit there to watch your demo video. So it's like, it's all kind of time and place. Like demo video, that's where you need to settle in a little bit and you're really doing some fact finding or is this app for me? Should I sign up as a customer? Hero section is not there, not the time and place for it. Okay, so that is a pretty solid understanding and training here on how to set up your demo video. Again, a demo video is not a video sales letter. It is not your hero video. It is not a product hunt video. It is not your hype uh, slash splash video right there. Uh, some demo video mistakes to avoid. 
no ending sales pitch. You have to include this. It is a sales video. It's a mild. It's not spicy. It's mild. Uh, feature overload. Don't get too crazy with too many features. Limit it to three or is pushing it. Keep it less than three features that you're going to do a demo of. Um, ignoring your customer pain points. Again, add that context. Connect it to a problem. A feature is not just a feature. A feature is solving a problem. Talk about that problem. Too long, over 20 minutes. Cap it 10 to 20 minutes. That's your sweet spot. Uh, too easy, too hard. Again, don't get too far into the weeds and don't go 80 miles an hour over a feature. Like Show people how it works. What to do is do that above the full promise. Show people, set expectations, capture attention. It's, uh, and the, the word would be like a YouTube hook. Write me a YouTube hook, ChatGPT, on this video. Always be closing. Uh, clear audio. You don't need a camera. You don't need lighting. Add use cases. Again, context, connections. Is this for me? Uh, and then do a review, preview, and an overview of what you just talked about. How to structure it. Above the fold, do your table of contents. Most notable feature first, your biggest, baddest feature first, biggest, baddest, bestest, sexiest feature first. Uh, do two similar, no, sorry, dissimilar, not similar use cases that are, but there are two use cases that are your most popular. Sprinkle in a casual call to action, repeat that for features two and three, review everything you just talked about, and then do a hyper specific call to action. Show people how to sign up, tell them where to go to sign up, Walk, hold their hand, take them to the very end, and just it, it's show people just literally how to sign up and then where to place this in a email three or four of your email flows uh, on the other side of the watch demo button on YouTube and your help articles in the top getting started section in your post launch if you're launching and not in your hero section and that is going to end it thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe here to nice life studio check out the links down below and I will catch you in the next one